Before we get out of search, let's talk a bit about something called a regular expression. Now, what are they? Regular expressions are patterns of code written using symbols that help you find things in an abstract way, kind of like where you're looking for the value of x, something like that. We've been using them for years, but there is a specific way that Dreamweaver writes the code. We could do a whole lesson series on these, and I usually only do these in an advanced Dreamweaver class. I thought I'd give you something to look at, kind of like what we call a teaser in marketing. Let's do this. Click the button right here in the search panel. Let me get rid of what's in here now. This is a good way to use these two buttons over here. Now, this is for saving, and that's for loading. How do you do this? Well, remember in the previous segment, I looked for the B and replaced it with strong. Let's say you do that a lot. You're always looking for a bold and then replacing it with a strong. Why do you want to reinvent the wheel here? You could actually make a query and save it. And then anytime you need it, you'd click this button right here. So I've got two regular expressions I want to show you. I'm going to click here. First one let's look at is this one right here. I call it find titles. Now, I made these. Let me make that a little bit bigger so you can see how crazy this stuff is. Title and title are outside my braces, which means it's actually looking physically for title in braces and the closing tag on the other side. What are the W's with the backslashes? The lowercase w means look for all letters of the alphabet, underscores, and numbers, 0 through 9. The uppercase is for any characters other than a letter, number, or underscore. The asterisk basically is the preceding character zero or more times. In other words, find titles no matter how long they are. So I don't want to just find titles that say untitled document. And since I don't know the name of everyone, how would you type in something like that anyway? I'm saying to the computer, look in the source code, find title tags, and no matter what's in between it, show it to me. So let's go ahead and get back down to here and click Find All. As you can see, on the whole site, there they all are. Not just the ones that are untitled, every single one of them. Maybe I want to change them. Maybe I want to look at them this way. That's what a regular expression is. Let me show you one more. Let's come back to this button. This one might be useful to you. Click the Query button right here for loading. Duplicate words. How many times have you typed a word twice, like and or a or the? Again, the code is interesting. The B stands for like a space, character term. So I'm looking for a space on either side. The B is on either side of the expression. The W means all letters and characters, plus a duplicate one time over here, surrounded by spaces. If I then actually come back down and play this one, let's just do it on the current document, this one right here. And there it is right there and and it found duplicate words regular expressions are actually really cool to work with it's like i said a class into itself it really is because there's a lot going on i want you to explore it more get some more information on it because it is really cool how you can actually specifically look for things and get exactly what you want done using search using regular expressions on to the next